And the Kaneshi District Court has ordered the Bureau of National Investigations, BNI, to hand over ACP Dr. Benjamin Agozo, accused of plotting to destabilize the country, to the Inspector General of Police, IGP. ACP Agozo, since his interdiction, has been in the custody of the BNI. The Kaneshi District Court rejected a move by counsel for ACP Dr. Benjamin Agozo to have him released after prosecution told the court he was substituting a fresh charge sheet for old ones presented to the court earlier. Counsel for the Assistant Commissioner of Police, Martin Pebu, in his oral application said his client ought to be set free after the state redrew two separate charge sheets to be replaced with a fresh one. One of the two charge sheets which were in the custody of the court had the case of ACP Dr. Benjamin Agozo, whilst the other had the case of Dr. Freddie McPalm and eight others. This got counsel for ACP Agojo, Martin Pebu, to object the attempt to file a new charge sheet by the prosecutor, ASP Sylvester Asari. He said withdrawing the charge sheet suggested that his client must be released so that he can either be rearrested or invited again before he could be arraigned. Prosecution argued that this was not founded in law and objected to the application. In her ruling, the magistrate Eleanor Banboche said Martin Pebu's application did not have basis in law, adding that the state was on the right legal path. The court also ordered for the keys to the private residence and vehicles of Dr. McPalm be released to him and ACP Agojo be handed over to the IGP from the BNI custody. Counsel for the nine others, Victor Kojoga and Daudu, was disgusted about the handling of the case. For 17 months, the government statement says they gathered intelligence and evidence for 15 months. We've been in court for two months. 17 months! And who has all the state powers? Who has resources? You see, it's becoming a mantra. And we must move from there. And I'm urging the court and the judges to stamp their feet. That every time prosecutors state they come, investigation is going on. Investigation is going on. And they punish the accused. Ten persons are currently before the Kaneshi District Court in Accra in connection with the alleged plot to destabilize the country. Among the accused are a senior military officer, a commissioner of police, junior rank military officers, as well as some civilians. They have been charged with treason felony, conspiracy to commit treason felony, as well as abetment of treason felony. The case has been adjourned to December 4. Godfrey Tanam, TV3 News, Accra.